Education Mobile, quality e-learning experience on the go. Okay, you're welcome. Uh, this is a Fusion Mobile e-learning center, uh, a solution center, as I love to say. And I remember my own boy, um, uh, Oshito Gumolajide, your biology tutor, and popularly called uh, Smoky Brain. And as usual, we will be traveling together and we'll be surfing the world of biology. Uh, it promises to be adventurous, trust me. So today we'll be looking at uh, the beneficial effect of microorganisms, which is a subtopic under microorganisms in action are you doing now we've done uh we've talked extensively on microorganisms uh we look at the various groups of microorganisms so today we'll be looking at their various uh actions in nature and as well by extension we'll also be studying their results now the outlines are uh, for today are uh, the benefit of microorganisms uh, the harmful effect of microorganisms uh, the diseases that are caused by this microorganism and how are those disease spread and uh, you and i will be looking at this uh, critically so follow me closely the beneficial effects of microorganisms and now microorganisms are of uh, immense benefit uh, first to nature and then secondly in medicine and lastly in our various industries now what kind of uh, uh benefits uh, do they uh, prefer or do they give uh, to nature one of them is compost formation now when living organisms die microorganisms work on them why they decay now as a result of the working process uh, on the decayed matter what we call compost formation are you with me uh, when plants die when animals die microorganisms work on them at the end of the day uh, a particular substance will be produced which will be added to the soil so that's what we call compost formation uh, a process of boosting the humus content of the soil one nitrogen fixation they have to fix nitrogen in the soil a very good example of a microorganism that does this uh, is the rhizobium is the rhizobium leguminoserium Ribobium leguminoserium. Are you with me? Now, this is a nitrogen fixing bacteria. It has an association with the root nodules of leguminous plant. It helps them to fix nitrogen as well. The root nodules of leguminous plant gives them something in return. So they have to fix nitrogen. And last on my list here is sewage treatment. I know by now you should know what sewage is called. Uh, sewage talks about our waste, uh, our liquid waste, our solid waste that has been mixed together. Naturally, this sewage uh, happens to be very very harmful but with the help of our bacteria uh, with the help of our uh, other microorganisms uh, working on it they have to break down the harmfulness and alienate it completely and so they have zero harmfulness in there now in medicine how has microorganisms contributed they've contributed as a source of enzymes uh, you and i know what yeast uh, is yeast is actually uh, a type of fungi saccharomyces uh, cerevisiae there's something about yeast yeast produces enzymes uh, such as invertase and amylase and by extension uh microorganisms are, are also a, how do I call it? Microorganisms are also a very important agent in the production of vitamin B. They are very, very important in the production of vitamin B. As you all know, vitamin B happens to be complexes. We have B1, B2, B3, uh, B5, B6, uh, B12, and all that. But that is actually a topic for another day. But they help in production of vitamin B. Now, as well, they help in the production of drugs. The manufacturing of drugs now notable drugs has been seen as a result of this microorganism ah one of them is what we call the penicillin penicillin now penicillin was actually gotten from a fungi penicillin notatum so it was gotten from it and this is penicillin are you me now aside from this we also have what we call the streptomycin what the streptomycin a fungi as well it was gotten from a fungi as well streptomycin is an antibiotic antibiotic or antibiotic as we uh, love to call it so coming down here in industries it has also been of immense uh, importance we have tanning of eyes and skins now the skin of animals uh, we call them eyes and skins now tanning here simply means a conversion of eyes and skin when you convert them into other usable material so microorganisms helps uh, to do that job also a production of alcoholic drinks uh, one notable drinks that happens to be traditional and uh, it is uh, mostly present in every occasion it's what we call the palm wine it's what they call palm wine raffia ukeri the palm wine now the palm wine is gotten as a result of the action of yeast 
uh, yeast carry out what we call anaerobic respiration or anaerobic effect on this at the end of the day what we we'll call the palm wine so these are many other are the beneficial effects of microorganisms so quickly we'll be looking at the harmful effects of microorganisms The harmful effect of microorganisms. Now, one of the harmful effects of microorganisms is deterioration. Is deterioration of food substances. Deterioration of food substances, uh, which I would uh, try and explain explicitly. Now, aside from this, uh, they cause what we call death. As I would call food spoilage. Food spoilage. And lastly, on my list, they cause what we call disease. Deterioration of food substances. Now, this is just uh, being specific. I could have as well say deterioration of food. Uh, I could also say deterioration of materials. I could say deterioration of material. So by extension, we can now look at deterioration of food materials. I use me. But basically, it's not just food they affect, they affect many other things. So they deteriorate materials, they deteriorate their value. Are you with me? Now they can as well cause death of an organism. They, they spoil our food. Are you with me? They help in food spoilage. Food spoilage. Like many times you see your grains and you see oils on it, uh, you see your beans, you see your yam that has been infested by all these microorganisms. And lastly, they can as well uh, uh, give a disease result. On them. So quickly, we'll be moving uh, on to disease that are caused by microorganisms. Uh, disease caused by microorganisms. Diseases caused by microorganisms. And now you and I know that we have five groups of microorganisms. So we'll be looking at these groups. We'll be looking at the kind of disease they cause in plants. We'll be looking at the kind of disease they cause in animals. So just try as much as possible. Uh, to pay attention. Thank you very much. Okay, uh, now we'll be looking at diseases that are caused by microorganisms. Uh, uh, before now, I've explained uh, to us that we have virus, bacteria, fungi, uh, protozoa, and even aside this, we have one other which is uh, called algae. But for the sake of this class, we'll just narrow our scope down uh, to this, as this happens to be the major causing micro organisms are you with me major disease causing microorganisms so for virus virus causes uh, diseases in plants uh, such as now listen up the diseases caused by virus in plants are more than this but i just brought out some for uh for the purpose of simplicity in this class so basically a uh, virusic disease in plants is called cassava mosaic disease are you with me whenever you hear of mosaic 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 Changes in the patterning, changes in the arrangement. Are you with me? You must know that it is virus. Cassava mosaic disease is caused by virus. We also have leaf call. The leaf, the apex of the leaf will be calling. It's also caused by virus. <clears throat> now, looking at uh, virus diseases that are caused in animals, this happens to be popular one. We have AIDS, HIV, AIDS, AIDS, acquired immune deficiency syndrome. Now, what is a syndrome? A syndrome is basically a uh, a combination of symptoms are you with me now when a disease gets to a syndrome state then it gets uh typically worse are you with me because it's very hard for you to know it's a collection of symptoms are you with me symptoms are signs but collection of symptoms is called syndrome are you with me? so aside from AIDS, what we call newcastle disease it is also caused uh by virus even aside from this we have polio or smallpox different other diseases that are caused by virus now for bacteria bacteria affect plants causing yam rot tomato rot uh, not just yam rot there are other rot as well potato rot other rot as well they also cause leaf blight of cassava now blight here is just like the the bleaching of the color of the leaves basically so it causes leaf blight of cassava blight affects leaf leaf blight of cassava in animals bacteria cause uh, what we call cholera it causes pneumonia as well so pneumonia is not uh, caused as a result of ac it is caused as a result of inflammation of the lungs and what inflames the lungs 
is bacteria. Are you doing? Now, what are the symptoms that we'll be seeing? You have cold, you have cough, and every other thing like that. I mean, so coming down to fungi, fungi affect animals are uh, causing aspergillosis, we have aspergillosis, uh, we have ringworm, we have athletic foot, and many other ones. They affect plants causing leaf rust, causing cocoa black pod disease. This cocoa black pod disease uh, is seen on the pod. They affect the pod of cocoa. Are you doing? So we call them cocoa black pod disease. Coming down to protozoas, protozoas have significant effect on animals significant effect on animals they cause what we call coccidiosis coccidiosis is caused by emera species it's caused by emera species a particular microorganism we have red water disease it is caused by babesia species it's caused by babesia species as well <laughs> uh, the uh, the pronunciation is somehow difficult. Don't worry, you will get used to it. So we have coccidiosis, we have red water disease. Coccidiosis is caused by Emera species. Red water uh, disease uh, is caused by Babesia species. Now, even aside from this, we have other ones. We have Trypanosomiasis. Uh, uh, the causal organism is Trypanosome. I know you know that one, and it's carried by Cessefly. Now, aside from uh, Trypanosome, we also have the uh, Plasmodium. Plasmodium, 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 Vivaus causing. Uh, malaria and all that. So quickly, we'll look at how diseases uh, get to spread. Are you doing then after then? Uh, wood, uh, jungle, and mumble some things together. Aha. Uh -huh. So disease spread. Disease spread. Now, diseases caused by microorganisms, how are they spread? Basically, uh, they are spread uh, through air, they are spread uh, through water, just like uh, the cholera. Another one is that uh, they are spread through food. Never forget all these facts. They are spread through the air, they are spread through the water, they are spread through food. And for some, it is personal contact personal contact or with them that might make you to get this particular disease another one is that there are animal carriers of this disease they are also spread through vectors now you can get diseases through the air uh, you can get it through water you can get con uh, part of your body might get contaminated uh, through food the kind of food you eat we have personal contact with the person suffering for any of this disease and lastly we have vectors uh, which are carrier of disease Again, can we just uh, take a look at the outlines? Uh, so far, we've looked at the benefits of microorganisms, uh, uh, ranging from their benefits in nature to uh, their benefit uh, in medicine uh, to their benefit as well in industries. Uh, we will look at the production of palm wine by yeast. I will look at our source, how they are source of enzymes uh, in medicine, how they help to uh, produce vitamin B, how they help in the development of drugs such as streptomycin, and for some other benefits we looked at uh, in nature we look at those strong ones in nature and how they have to see uh, the, uh, help to make harmless sewage input or sewage output as the case may be and now we also look at diseases that are caused by microorganisms we look at those that are caused by fungi aspergillosis athlete foods that are caused in animals we look at those that are caused in plants uh we look at the cassava leaf blight are you doing uh, we look at the, those that are caused by virus uh, we look at Newcastle disease, uh, uh, we look at polio, we look at polymyelitis, yeah, we look at smallpox and every other one. Then lastly, we look at protozoan disease, we look at Babesia species uh, causing red water disease. Uh, we look at Emeral species and you know what Emeral species cause? You know? Okay, I won't tell you that. Take your time, go through it and, and you will surely get the information. Okay. Uh, so, a question will pop up on your screen as usual. To try as much as possible to do the needful uh, attempt. If the questions are cheap, uh, and if you feel uh, you need uh, a lot of confidence on this topic, uh, why don't you just uh, go through the uh, video over and over again? I've, I must say I've had a wonderful time out with you. Thank you.